Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived in a rabbit hole with their mother underneath a large tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the road, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there and was put into a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I'm going to buy some bread. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. He ate some lettuce, some French beans, and some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. But round the end of a fence, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Mr. McGregor waved his rake and yelled, Stop, thief! Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and the other shoe amongst the potatoes. Then he ran into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. Mr. McGregor came up with his rake and raised it to hit Peter in the head, but Peter wiggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him. Peter tried to find his way straight across the garden, but he became more and more puzzled. He climbed up into a wheelbarrow and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor raking onions. His back was turned towards Peter, and beyond him was the gate. Peter jumped off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could towards the gate. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him, but Peter didn't care. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the woods outside the garden. Peter never stopped running till he got home to the rabbit hole under the big tree. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost in one week. Peter was not feeling very well that evening. His mother gave him one teaspoon of tea and put him to bed. Peter felt bad that he had lost his jacket and shoes and that he would not enjoy a delicious dinner that evening. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Peter wished he had listened to his mother and not gone into Mr. McGregor's garden. He promised to himself that he would never get into mischief again and be a good little bunny. <laughs>